We know about Cisco's seven-step troubleshooting model, and as we're going through those steps, we might need to define the problem, and we could do that somewhat by using show commands, but we could do maybe even more precise definition of a problem by using, uh, by using network monitoring tools or event reporting. We could say if a certain event occurs in the network, we want to be notified about that. We could gather information using a variety of tools as well. Maybe, uh, maybe NetFlow, that, that's a good one to give us information about what's going on in the network. And that could also help us with creating a baseline and there are even tools out there like uh, network management servers that can help us roll back to a previous configuration. If we are troubleshooting an issue and, and our hypothesized solution is, is not correct, we might want to roll back to a previous configuration. And, and here are some examples of tools that can help us out. For example, on a, on a switch, if I'm trying to do a packet capture on a, on a switch, what does a switch do? A switch is, uh, is supposed to learn MAC addresses uh, that reside off of its different switch ports, and then we're going to, uh, then we're the switch is only going to forward frames out of ports that uh, that are connected to those MAC addresses. If I connect a laptop running Wireshark as a packet capture utility, I'm not going to be able to I'm not going to be able to see those see those packets because they're they're not seen on my port. What we can do with span and R span is we can actually get a copy of of packets on those ports. We could log messages. That's going to help us collect information. We talked about syslog. We talked about the. Uh, we talked about how we could send log messages to our console as well. A really cool tool is the EEM, the Embedded Event Manager. This is like a series of if-then statements. We can say if this event occurs on the network, then we want to respond by by doing this. We're going to give you a couple of examples in this discussion. We could also use tools to help us, like we said, roll back. And, uh, and go back to a previous configuration. And uh, NetFlow, that's, that's a great tool for traffic, uh, traffic accounting to see exactly what kind of traffic we have coursing through our network right now. 